how many 40% silver quarters does it take to make a troy ounce of silver? How many 90%? What about the Kennedy halves that are 40%? If you've ever wondered, well, I'm going to show you how to figure that, and we're going to show you how many coins it takes to make a troy ounce, whether they're in 40% or 90% or even 35%. So stay tuned. But first, here's my website, PortsmouthCoinShop.com. This is where we sell our coins to help support the coin shop and the uh, YouTube channel. So if you get a chance, check out PortsmouthCoinShop.com. Also, if you have a question about coins, come over here to the Coin Help You community. I have both links to both these sites in a pinned comment and in the description of every single video. So let's get started on this. So first off, we have a formula. And you have to know the actual silver weight. That's the ASW of a coin. And then, of course, you know you're using one, one ounce to determine. So what you want to do, let's say this is 35% silver Jefferson nickels. Their actual silver weight is 0 0.0563. If you divide that by one, one ounce, it comes to 17.76. So it takes almost 18 silver war nickels with 35% silver alloy to equal one troy ounce or a silver eagle, the equivalent of a silver eagle. That's how you figure this, as long as you know the silver weight. Now, I have this I put together for everybody. I will have a link to this chart in the description so that you can just come over here and say, okay, a barber dime is 13.83 in an ounce. So, in other words, you need 14 of them to make an ounce of silver. Same thing with a barber quarter you need, or any 90% quarter. You need five and a half of them to make a troy ounce. A 40% quarter, you would need 13 and a half. So you might as well say you need 14 Worcester quarters, just like you need 14 dimes to make an ounce of silver. And we're talking troy ounces here, not just regular ounces. Don't get, don't fall into that. If anybody's selling silver by the pound or an ounce or six ounces, make sure they're using troy ounces because they can they'll sell you less silver by using regular ounces. You want to make sure it's troy ounces or troy pounds. That's very important to note when you're buying silver. Then for a barber half dollar, you need almost three to make a troy ounce or an ounce of silver. Also, then you have a 40% Kennedy half. You need almost seven of those to create a troy ounce. Morgan dollars, you need a little over one because they're almost an ounce of silver. But as you can see, all the actual silver weights are right here. An Eisenhower dollar, a 40% Eisenhower dollar, you need a little over three for a troy ounce. So when you go and buy an Eisenhower dollar, a 40%, and you figure how much you're going to pay for it, okay? So if you're going to buy three of them, and which is a little under troy ounce, or a little under an ounce of silver, and you pay 12 bucks, and you're paying $36 for an ounce of silver. It'll help you find the best deal by using this formula. If you can get it for $10 and you're paying $30. Now you're getting three coins. Sometimes it's better to be able to get rid of one coin instead of your whole ounce. Sometimes it's better to do it that way. But you want to look at silver eagles. You want to look at the silver rounds and bars and say, okay, if I've got to purchase this many uh, 14 barber dimes. Do I want just 14 barber dimes or do I actually want an ounce of silver that's probably a little bit cheaper? You know, this is constitutional silver. It actually has a denomination. Some of these coins are worth more than the silver. So that helps you determine what the best deal for you would be when you're trying to uh, buy a little bit of silver. But this is what it is. I've got this chart here. I'll have a link and a pinned comment and in the description so that everybody can see exactly how many coins it takes, whether they're 90% or 40% or 35% to make an ounce of silver. So I hope you found this as interesting as I did. I sat down this morning and put this chart together. A lot of fun figuring up how much is in an ounce. I did a video previously touching on this a little bit, but I, I didn't include the 40% or the 35%. And I appreciate the little email I received yesterday that kind of inspired me to do this video. So thanks for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And have a great day.